Okay, what we have here is my uh, winning entry for the 2013 Layer 1 Badge Hacking Contest. As you can see, this is the badge with a lot of real tiny surface mount bits installed on it. Uh, soldering is really messy due to the uh, varying levels of caffeine in my bloodstream. But um, what the basic badge, one of the options for the uh, parts kits was the uh, Gabatronics.com uh, X Protolab oscilloscope. You can see I've got a couple traces running on that thing right there. Uh, and that's just noise coming into the thing uh, with the gain crank all the way up. So what I did, I had to really scratch my head to, to think of something worthy. I'm still not worthy, but hey, it's all good. Um, so what I did, not only is this an oscilloscope, but it's also a signal generator amongst other things. So I thought, all right. Well, uh, I like radio stuff. Let's hook some kind of radio thing up to it. So I decided to basically take a voltage controlled oscillator and hook it up to the signal generator. And when you sweep an oscillator, uh, you're basically making an FM transmitter. So, oh, please pardon my horrendous video graphic skills here. This little guy, I shouldn't touch it, it'll probably go off frequency. This is a uh, real simple oscillator. Ignore the LED, that's not supposed to be on. It's uh, basically, that's part of the tuning apparatus that I'll, I'll get into later. But, um, oh, and the other point, my, my hot glue skills with this battery. I tried to make this something that would be all, you know, all wearable at once, but that doesn't really work. Uh, there's something about the signal generator output, which means we have to be tethered to the laptop to use the Gabatronic software. All right, so let's uh, let's see this little funny thing in operation. If my camera doesn't fall off my tripod, what? All right, so we have your little FM radio. You pick your uh, radio station of choice. This works in the kind of the mid VHF level. About I don't know. I have a range of about 95 to 105 megahertz. So we have music. We connect power. And we have an obnoxious racket that we can control with the PC software. Okay, that's enough of that. But uh, so you can see that we're we're modulating an oscillator. So what the um, what the circuit is? Let me move my little USB cable. We're going to do this uh, VK3YE style, but I will promise I will restrain myself from doing the Australian accent. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, okay, right there. Okay, USB cable cooperate. Okay, if you look at this, and if I cover up this part of the circuit, right here, this is the basic classic little FM and television jammer circuit that's been sold in little electronic kits for however long. Uh, Alenco is one brand I did. Uh, but what I've added over here with this LED that is actually reverse biased, even though we saw it come on, that was probably due to negative swings of the signal generator input, we're adding a little bit more capacitance. The, the LED, um, I believe uh, Hans Summers uh, documented a lot about how an LED can be used as a varactor diode, basically a voltage controlled capacitor to really simplify it. So we're kind of yanking on this varactor line, which is throwing a little bit more 
capacitance into this tuned circuit, which basically is FMing our oscillator, frequency modulating it, reactance modulator, something like that. So all very simple stuff. Uh, very unstable circuit. I had to tinker with it for a few minutes to uh, have it operate on the same frequency as that station. So you have your your coarse tune with this variable capacitor. Uh, let me disconnect that and bring the actual device into the field of view here. Variable, excuse me, can't talk. Variable capacitor here. We have our two coils that kind of basically make us a Hartley circuit. I believe it's Hartley. Uh, single uh, NPN transistor right here, 213904. Emitter, resistor, some bypassing, voltage divider to have our feedback back into the base. So real simple stuff. And then all we do, ignore this potentiometer here. This is for future use. Uh, this happens to be a 50K, but that's just what I, what I grabbed. We have to uh, give a little bit of resistance in there so we're not pulling the LED too hard. And that's really it. Part 15 device, it's legal. It only works for about 15 feet. So we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be taking down any major uh, Los Angeles radio stations with this, and therefore staying out of trouble. And that's it. Thank you.